嗨，大家好，欢迎来到铁人音乐频道，我是春雷。那么今天的节目呢，咱们又请到了一位这个远道而来的朋友啊，这个来自这个挪威的啊，这个我的好朋友 Dimitri。Thank you very much. I'm gonna agree with that. I have no idea what you talked about, but yes.、Uh, yeah, my name is Dimitri. Scupiliti, Dimitri, Dimitri Scupiliti. <laughs> yeah,、yes. uh, but everybody calls me Dimitri because they think that the name is too difficult. It's、so、too hard to raise. So just call me Dimitri is fine. Yeah. So you、yeah. born from you born in、uh, Italy, right? Yeah, I'm.、Uh, I grew up in Italy, and、uh, then I moved for、uh, for a while in America,、mm-hmm. and then back to Europe, all Europe, and then I moved to Norway,、uh-huh. where I live since 2008. Now,、uh-huh. what about your Norway lifestyle right now? It's cool. Ah,、uh, I, I mean, it takes a little bit of time to adjust a little bit to the Norwegian attitude、mm-hmm. and the way of living and stuff, but. It's way more similar to Italy than China. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, it would take longer time for me to to get into the the Chinese、mm-hmm. uh, lifestyle.、Uh-huh. So, but I really enjoyed my couple of weeks here.、Mm-hmm. You know. And you, it's time you prefer the performance to for Hotong, right? Yeah. For Hotong. Yeah. And,、uh, we、At、met each other in Sao Expo,、mm-hmm. and、uh, this new friend is my you, yeah. my new friend. Yeah. <laughs> That was a very nice songs. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's right now. But I have a question、yeah. I want to ask you. But uh, uh, why did you choose to use a seven strings or eight strings as, as, as my personal question? Maybe.、Uh, usually I, I I use the here I have a seven string. This is, guitar is not mine, as you know. <laughs> my guitar is back here. It's a Legator guitar endorsed by Legator. But、uh, my guitar broke down this morning. We found that there was an、uh, issue with the with the bridge. Mm-hmm. Which is due to as a problem, as yeah. a problem, yeah. Yeah, so I'm、okay. gonna use this、uh, great Kate Merrow guitar.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, the question was, <laughs> <laughs> the question is, like, why, 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 why don't you play six, six string, string guitar? Yeah, let's. Okay, I started playing, of course, the six string guitar when I was a kid, and then、uh, for can you play six strings? Yeah, I can do <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, I、so. still use that、uh, for teaching、mm-hmm. and recording sometimes、uh-huh. because it makes sometimes things easier、mm-hmm. if you're used to the eight string.、Mm-hmm. But、uh, I played seven string for、mm-hmm. a really long time between 2000 and 2000, probably 16.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, so my、uh, personal instrument is the seven string,、mm-hmm. but I always felt that, that, that I needed to switch to an eight string in order to have way more possibilities. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And、uh, the last album that I'm working right now on is all composed with the eight string,、mm-hmm. and I found out that、uh, it gives me fresh ideas,、mm-hmm. and、uh, I don't get stuck into the jammed、um, playing.、Mm-hmm, yeah. Which is,、uh, and then probably because I got used to, to the seven string,、uh-huh. so sometimes I go down, but、uh, my the songs are the the riffs are not based just on on,、mm-hmm. uh, on the on the bass string,、mm-hmm. you know. So, and、uh, at the same time, I I I don't want to play a guitar which is tuned down because、mm-hmm. I need to have the higher strings. Oh,、uh, yeah, okay, you just the normal tuning, right? Exactly.、Uh-huh. It's, uh, usually it's、uh, standard tuning, but sometimes I drop the B to A、mm-hmm. and the F sharp to E.、Mm-hmm. Like this, I have a, a lower octave.、Mm-hmm. A、know? new idea. 
as a new idea. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. You can really do a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. and, you know, at the same time, it makes things more complicated because you have A strings to take care about. Mm -hmm. So when you are down here, you need, you need to make sure that you stop all the strings high and vice versa. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, you know, I managed to write a lot of new different ideas comparing mm -hmm. to the past. So I suggest to anybody to try to experiment yeah, with yeah, tunings yeah. and uh, with other types of uh, guitar. Uh, you know, don't be afraid. Of course, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a challenge. Uh, so it's going to be, it's going to take some time to, to get used to the new instrument. Mm -hmm. For me, the A string, it took one and a half year before I... Funny. Yeah, 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 it <laughs> yeah, is. You funny. need to challenge yourself uh, anyway. But for me, it's too hard because, you know... Well, like small I, hands. I think. I, I, I th well, you can play with tapping. No, no. You know, <laughs> like this, you can. Uh, oh, I, because I, I, I don't want to uh, make the, the guitar hand very high. You know, like well, this. Like, like I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not like the rock star. <laughs> well, the, the the point is that uh, sometimes I play Les Paul, uh -huh. and when I play the Les Paul, it's down on the uh -huh, knee, uh -huh. you know, and that's more rock and that's roll. But uh, like it's okay. two different instruments, mm -hmm. you know, so you cannot really compare. Of course, the way it looks is going to be different. It's a big guitar, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, the way you play it is different and you cannot really think that you play the same things that you are used to play with the sixth string or an A string. Mm -hmm. It's just not gonna work. Mm -hmm. So you need to relearn the instrument and see that from another point of view. Mm -hmm. in some so ways. the A strings, seven strings, not just for the jazz or new metal music. I think it's a traditional thing so you can also play the... Exactly the and that's why... It's a new, new idea. Yeah, yeah and if you go online you can see now on YouTube a lot of different new guitar players that they are play, reinterpreting. Play seven yeah, <laughs> or, or, or for, for jazz it's really cool because you have all the bass. Oh yeah, so yeah, you can yeah. play a lot of walking bass. Like uh, Strandberg or something. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, very exactly. cool. And I can hear... Uh, new music is a combination. Mm -hmm. uh, there is the uh, new stuff and the old stuff, traditional stuff get together. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How how long you played guitar till now? Uh, I played the guitar for twenty four years probably since I was a kid. <laughs> so uh, I started with blues and. Uh, the beginning is guitar, right? Sorry. The beginning is just just plays guitar. Yeah. yeah and I, another instrument. Well, I started with acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. You know and. Seven uh, strings. No. <laughs> I, I still don't. So I still. I, I still don't have a seven string yeah. or eight string acoustic guitar. I would like to have it one day because to try out some different stuff. I never saw a seven acoustic guitar right now. Yeah, there is a seven and Maybe eight, custom, eight custom. Eight string. Yeah, custom. Yeah, custom. There, there is a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. so you can find ten string mm -hmm. guitars or whatever. But uh, yeah, and then I moved to electric guitar after some months, and I started to play like uh, metallic, Iron mm -hmm. Maiden, uh -huh. Nirvana, and those uh -huh. kind of things, mm -hmm. and. Uh, then I started my first band, and you know. So you're a metal player originally. <laughs> yeah, but I, you know, I'm I'm a bit old, so I went through a lot of different transitional periods of heavy metal and rock. Uh -huh. So I try to incorporate the all, uh, yeah, yeah, all yeah. those influences mm -hmm. into my playing, mm -hmm. and uh, and when I write something, everything is pretty spontaneous. So mm -hmm. I have all these influences which are coming out mm -hmm. in the music I play. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like to play also getting rid of the guitar, so mm -hmm. just playing on the on the keyboard mm -hmm. or uh, write down some chords mm -hmm. and try to jam over it. Mm -hmm. So the, pro the, the um, writing process can be always different. Okay, so you are very open people because there, I know a lot of the, the, the old metal guy in, in, the, in their opinion, just metal. Yeah. Just traditional, just him on the head, ACDC, yeah, no, nothing else. Yeah, well, I like all those things, yeah. but uh, I believe that, I mean, that's my opinion, mm -hmm. you should try to learn other kind of yeah, music, yeah, which yeah. are giving you more ideas mm -hmm. and developing your style and your uh, ability to play, mm -hmm. your skills. I, when I was in the music college, I played a lot of um, funky, for example. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Funky doesn't have anything to do with my music because it's <laughs> something like... Yeah, you like it. But at the same time, you're going to develop the rhythm mm -hmm. and you can use it on when you play something more complicated into the metal music, mm -hmm. you know, to like you start playing like uh, odd signature and stuff mm -hmm. like that. This so, is, uh, like uh, the animal as leader. Exactly. It's exactly. very different, they, very different. Yeah, they took the idea that Meshuga, for example, oh, brought yeah, to the yeah, table yeah, some yeah, years yeah. ago and developed in another, uh, yeah, another style. really extreme way. Yeah. You know, and uh, yeah, and I and I and they also have uh, other influences from jazz and other mm. kind of stuff, and, and they are bringing everything to the table, making something new. That's mm -hmm. basically my goal mm -hmm. that I try mm -hmm. to achieve every time, a new challenge every time, trying to bring to uh, com um, combine to, yeah, yeah, together, to, yeah, yeah. Combine together mm -hmm. a lot of different styles. Mm -hmm. you know? And I'm not really an old school 
<laughs> metal player, even if I like old schools band like uh, Metallica, Iron Maiden, even death metal or black metal bands. So uh -huh. everything, there is just good music and bad music. Uh -huh. There are not genre. Uh -huh. You just finished the tour with uh, uh, CLB, Children Born, right? Yeah. You finished the tour with uh, Children Born? Yeah. Tell me, yeah. Yeah. Uh, What's your feeling? Uh, it's a very famous band. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it, we played a couple of shows uh, in uh, Europe mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, with my band, which is called Arcadia, mm -hmm. uh, so not, not an instrumental band, it's a metal band, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, we, we took like a couple of years uh, break, uh -huh. and then suddenly there was this, uh, they called us and they said, you want to tour a little bit with, uh, with Children of Bodies? Uh -huh. And we were like, yeah, why not? Uh -huh. you know, the, the band is, is really known in Europe, all over the world, oh, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, I grew up listening to their records as well, so for, mm -hmm. for us it was a great mm -hmm. achievement. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guys of the band are really nice. Mm -hmm. So. We had a blast. We played in uh, mostly in Ukraine uh -huh. a couple of months ago, uh -huh. one month probably. Oh my God, yeah. it's, it's cool. It's yeah, cool. it was it's great. Cool. It was great. And uh -huh. uh, but uh, the, the cool stuff is that my band is located in Italy uh -huh. and I'm located in Norway. Uh -huh. So we rehearsed on Skype. <laughs> People get together. Right? We rehearsed okay. on Skype, and that day, that the, the at the first date, I actually literally took the, the flight to Kiev, Ukraine, took the taxi. And the taxi just drove me to the stage, yeah. and I had to go on stage to play, uh -huh. you know. So, it's not really easy, but I believe that if you want to do things and achieve things, you can do that. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah, so. yeah, 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 I, I think so. And mm -hmm. as a uh, professional guitar player, you, you must be ha ha you, you must have the guitar hero. Tell yeah, of five. course, Tell, of tell course. me the top five. Top, top five. five. There are so many, but top five. Okay, the way, and the, the reason why I'm playing the guitar is uh -huh. because uh, when I was a kid, I saw a movie which is called Back to the Future. Back to the Future? Yeah, Back to the Future. Uh -huh. And uh, it was a saga of three episodes. Uh -huh. And uh, on the second, or the first, there is uh, Michael J. Fox, uh -huh. you know, who is Ma playing... Michael J. Fox? I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, okay. But uh, he's <laughs> really known in, uh, in Europe. Uh -huh. And um, he was playing Johnny Be Good, you know, the Chuck Berry song. Okay, yeah. 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 And uh, on a stage... Yeah, right. Yeah? Very old. I mean. Yeah, a really old song, but it was uh, some kind of 80s arrangement, mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. kind of Van Halen with, uh, with a lot of tapping and uh -huh. stuff like that. And I was so, uh, so how can I say, um, shocked mm -hmm. that I decided <laughs> I want to be that guy. Really? You know? Yeah, yeah. It's the first guy you brought to you. Right? Yeah, so that, that was my first approach to music. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I started to listen to, to music mm -hmm. in general, and I would say, like, my fav one of my favorite is Brian May Queen. Oh, Brian May. Yeah. yeah. He has uh, everything, he has the technique, he has uh -huh. uh, the, the, the touch on the instrument, the, um, the taste, you know, the arrangement, uh, you know, and... Uh, yeah, comfortable, he's played, very right? make it be comfortable. Exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. And he always does the right thing, mm -hmm. and he knows a lot of music theory and stuff, yeah, you, yeah, can, yeah. you can tell by mm -hmm. the way he's mm -hmm. playing. Then, of course, I started to get more stream and I liked uh, <laughs> the metal scene, like uh, Iron Maiden, the Super okay. Guitar Plays of Iron Maiden, the way they were com combinating the harmonization together. Uh, uh. And uh, then I moved to the Metallica guys. Oh, uh, right. the, the <laughs> James Hetfield had a great What about career. Kirk? Kirk, I remember that in the <laughs> 80s he was pretty good. Uh -huh. You know, and I really liked the way he was playing. Anyone else? And uh, top five. Uh, yeah, and so then, and one, then one, left. one left. One left? One left? Oh, shit. <laughs> so one left should be two at least. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, just tell me. I really love like Steve Vai. Steve Vai, Steve okay. Vai is okay. probably at the moment my favorite mm -hmm. at the moment. Mm -hmm. When? Uh, when? When? That time be your, be your, be your, be your guard? Uh, probably, I, I, well, 10 I, years ago, 10 yeah, years it ago. was like something like 10, 15 years ago uh -huh. that I listened to Steve Vai, and, but I couldn't really understand a lot of things, so uh -huh. when I developed, then I understood the composing mm -hmm. side of Steve Vai, mm -hmm. because everybody uh, thinks that Steve Vai is just a guitar player, a mm -hmm. shredder guitar player, no, but he's no, not, no. he's a composer, yeah, and yeah. Uh, he develops the technique after mm -hmm. the, the composing process, mm -hmm. which is how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Because music is not technique. Mm -hmm. The technique helps you to play the music that you write. Mm -hmm. So you, you need to develop the technique according to what you, mm -hmm. what you write, in my and opinion. And that's uh, actually uh, affects a lot of people. And they give exactly. a lot of, the, every, I think every player has a new idea from Sifuai. Absolutely. And, and the, uh, the thing. Yeah, exactly. The uh, guitars that we use today is because of Steve Vai. Mm -hmm. You know, all the a lot of technique that he came up with, uh, a lot of the use of the slide, mm -hmm. the sound, mm -hmm. the, the Bending effects or sometimes, yeah. you know. And he's developing all the time. He's mm -hmm. bringing fresh ideas mm -hmm. to, to the public. Mm -hmm. So, and, but at the same time, one of my favorite of all times is Joe Satriani as well, which was 
his uh, his teacher. You know? <laughs> okay, okay. So these two guys for me are more or less at the same level as uh, at an inspirational point of view. Uh -huh. You know, and uh, Joseph Triani is a master. I saw him a couple of times live, and there is nothing like that. Yeah, he. It's really, really good, and uh, he's 61. He, 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 he looks really young, but he's pretty old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with good sunglasses. Yeah, sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. He looks over yeah, here, like uh, 40, uh, I think. I, I, I didn't see uh, Joshua Green live, but I guess. Well, I, I always listen to the music. When I saw him live, it was uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, the power he has on the fingers and uh, the, the way that the, the nature of the way that he plays is they are really unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So I was really shocked, mm -hmm. honestly. That's your top five? Yes, I mean, top six. Top six? <laughs> okay. I want to talk about something about your gears. Mm -hmm. That's a regular part <laughs> in my interview. Yeah. Uh, what do we use in this time uh, in China? Okay, in China, since I had to take a flight and stuff like that, and it was a long trip, I just mm. brought my guitar uh -huh. that uh, now broke down. But uh, it worked. It, it wor yeah, and then I took the, um, the X Stomp Mini, mm -hmm. which is the new X Stomp by Hot Tom. Uh -huh. And uh, I took the Mini because, of course, it's smaller, so it fits better in, okay. the, in, the, in the luggage. Okay. Uh, Hot Tone, they are doing really great instruments at mm -hmm. this time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and the cool stuff with this pedal is that you always bring that with you, and you can always decide until the, mom the last moment which effect to, to load mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. In this case, I'm using uh, an emulation of the Metal Zone, mm -hmm. which is a, a really known distortion pedal. Mm -hmm. And uh, some people don't like that kind of sound. Honestly, I think it fits really good. It sounds really good. <laughs> And I believe that the X Stomp version sounds better, uh. in my opinion. You know? <laughs> so it's okay. Uh, it's maybe perfect. we can close the delay first, and uh, yeah, let people. Yeah. Cannot stop. Cannot stop. <laughs> Cannot stop. <laughs> Cannot stop. <laughs> and uh, each, uh, for the metal player, the gear always simple. Yeah, just need a distortion pedal. It's everything. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it depends what you play. Uh -huh. um, for me, the distortion is really important. Yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but uh, in the studio, of course, I have like when I write the backing tracks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I use a lot of clean mm -hmm. and even acoustic guitars. Mm -hmm. You know, together with synth and mm -hmm. all the stuff to just. Uh, Kind of have this uh, big stereo picture mm -hmm. in the in the monitors when you, mm -hmm. when you write music. Mm -hmm. uh, and but you use a delay or modulation? I something? I use uh, most. Uh, okay, let's say that it depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. But uh, usually, if I had to travel, I need to make sure that I have a distortion pedal and a delay pedal. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it depends on the amp I'm using, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really like the Wah. For example, here mm -hmm. I have the Wah press, mm -hmm. which is both. Uh, 
wa and um, volume panel. The very, you know. very mini panel. Yeah, and, and the mini thing is really important for me because I don't have space, and especially in Europe, when you have to take a flight, you need to have just one luggage, mm -hmm. you know. Most of the times I don't bring my guitar just because uh, <laughs> I don't have the space for it. Okay. And I get okay. uh, Legato, the Legato guys, they help me out mm -hmm. finding the guitars in different mm -hmm. places. So, um, and uh, the cool stuff with the x -Stomp is that uh, last year, uh, Hot Town, they released my personal uh, sig oh, yeah, signature, I know that. I, I know that. which is called Mafia. Uh -huh. Because, I know you that, know, that being moment. Italian, I'm supposed to be a Mafia guy. I'm uh -huh. not a Mafia guy, but it sounds good, uh -huh. so we decided to do that. And it's amazing, online you can find a demo of me playing that. That, that sounds, that tone sounds uh, a bit dirty and, uh, you know, aggressive. Uh, really aggressive, yes. Uh -huh. yes. Well, I was really impressed when they sent me the sample. Uh -huh. and. Uh, Every time I go on tour and stuff like that, I use the one, at least one extent just for that. Mm -hmm. And the other one usually for the delay and uh, stuff. And uh, then I'm ready to go. I don't need anything else. Uh, but of course, in the studio, uh, I have tons of uh, gear. Uh, and uh, I have a, I'm endorsed by Randall Amps. <laughs> okay. You know, so I have a couple of Randall Amps. And that is uh, my favorite, favorite amp. Yeah, yeah, it's a great amp. I mean, for playing metal, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, I, I'm a camper user, mm -hmm. so I use camper mainly in the studio. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I bring it live according to the situation, but still too big to be mm -hmm. carried around. But if you think about it, like 25 years ago, you needed like a, a full stack of equipment. Now everything is one mm -hmm. in one box is amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing that I use is, uh, for example, the Rabo mm -hmm. Hot Tone, mm -hmm. which is a processor with everything ah, inside, yeah, 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 yeah. and that's that's perfect. It's, mm -hmm. it's even good to to practice at the hotel room and, and stuff like that. And not very expensive and a <laughs> cheap one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, I mean, if if you reach the compromise between quality and a really low price, I think you won. Mm -hmm. You know, and you have no competition. Mm -hmm. That's why the guys from Hot Tone they are getting more and more known mm -hmm. in uh, in the gear environment. Mm -hmm. You know. And, uh, but there are a lot of Chinese brands that nowadays are getting better and better. Yeah, I think so. Before think it so. was just the manufacturing. Now, mm -hmm. of course, the Chinese uh, uh, businessmen, they understood that they can do everything by themselves. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. And open their own company and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It makes everything more difficult for the Western companies, mm -hmm. you know, which have still high prices. Mm -hmm. And the quality, honestly, is the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. You have a lot of the choice in Europe. Yeah. You can you can find you can buy everything in yeah, Europe. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But uh, maybe the Chinese brand effects maybe can make you mm, enough. I mean, mm -hmm. enough. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Like uh, Hot Tone, they made I tried the Music China the. Uh, heart attack, uh -huh. the floor version. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's perfect. You can just go and play with that. Uh -huh. you, know, you connect to the cab or you can do, go direct on the, on the PA and it uh -huh. sounds killer. Uh -huh. sounds like a, a normal arm. Mm -hmm. You know, there mm -hmm. is nothing less than that. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a good symbol for the Chinese player because we can uh, uh, buy, you know, the very affordable things from China. Yeah, and above all, I think it's important <laughs> that uh, the Chinese people understand the value of uh, their oh, own yeah. country yeah. Um, you know because the te technology improved here mm -hmm. and uh, you have so many uh, good, good gear that mm -hmm. you actually don't need to go and look for the new uh, overseas mm -hmm. amp you mm -hmm. know you have everything you need mm -hmm. so and I think it's, it's good mm -hmm. to support your own country in some ways so I, I would do the same for <laughs> Italy if in Italy there were the good, or something. yeah in Italy uh, of course it's not really known for uh, those kind of instruments more mm. for classic instruments uh, and they are really good like uh, uh, accordion uh, acoustic guitars uh, and stuff like that uh, so it's not exactly my my branch mm. my kind of music mm. but uh yeah i mean i was at music china i was blown away <laughs> by all the products great guitars so, you know yeah so. the chinese brand always impressive right yeah, yeah <laughs> so absolutely. i must say to the audience trust to the Ch made in china <laughs> Abs absolutely <laughs> yeah. absolutely and uh, so many people asking me and uh, in my, in Iron Man china mm -hmm. me how to choose uh, choose the gears mm -hmm. what do you think about that well for me the it's, it's really uh funny because uh when i was a teenager and when i was at the music college i didn't have so many money mm -hmm. so i just had <laughs> one amp and one guitar uh, what and I, amp? yeah it was uh 5150 yeah, 50 what? That's, that's expensive. And that's yeah, that's expensive, but I just had one. Yeah, okay. So yeah. I, uh, when I, I bought it when I was a kid, and I was always playing with that. So I didn't have any choice. I was going to play, and I knew I had one guitar and one amp. End mm -hmm. of the story. Mm -hmm. And I developed a lot my playing mm -hmm. using just one guitar and one amp. No effects, no delay, no reverb, nothing. <laughs> Everything just was, just, was just me playing, you know? 
So when I had to, the chance to choose different gear, yeah. I was so used to play without all those things that I really found comfortable in using uh, just a few things. Mm -hmm. And so I suggest to everybody, instead of going and look for the gear, mm -hmm. just develop your playing first. Mm -hmm. Make everything more complicated at the beginning mm -hmm. because you need to develop uh, the picking, mm -hmm. which is really important to get the right sound. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that say they try everything and yeah. they said, I never found my sound. Yeah. That's because you are looking outside for the box. You need to look in yourself. Mm -hmm. You need to develop. Mm -hmm. and, and we make, uh, we make the sound, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. The gear is just uh, a, tool, a tool that you use, yeah. you know. But uh, everything starts from the way you put the guitar, the, the fingers on the guitar, mm -hmm. you know. This guy always, say, always think everything wrong, but actually, it's wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
in that time called VCD. Mm -hmm. the, the, the demonstration VC, the, the, the video and something like that. And yeah. I watch a lot of this mm -hmm. to them by me, but because I cannot find a good teacher in China yeah. in that time. Well, the, the, the thing that uh, is easier nowadays is that you can find a teacher and have lessons on Skype. Mm -hmm. And I was skeptical about that, but I, I, I have seen that it works. Really That's the reason things. It's yeah. a recent thing. Yeah. 10, 20 years ago, no, exactly. nothing. So when I started playing the guitar, I learned by myself. Mm -hmm. So when I approached to the music... <laughs> so we are brother. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so when I approached the music college, I was already a guitar player, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And I had to learn the, um, the music theory, mm -hmm. which I didn't know mm -hmm. about. And that makes everything more complete, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, because the biggest uh, wall that you have when you learn the technique and is that you don't know how to use the mm -hmm. technique. You, know? mm -hmm. you play a scale and mm -hmm. you don't know which chord mm -hmm. you need to play the scale over. Maybe you don't know why. You know, exactly. Why yeah. will you use this chord? Yeah. Use or or, or yeah. Uh, you play like an odd rhythm mm -hmm. and you know that it goes like this, mm -hmm. but you don't know exactly what's the, yeah, what's yeah. the click there and what's the yeah. time signature. Yeah. You know? I, I think so. So when you rationalize all those things, it makes everything more... Uh, uh, 360 degrees mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. and uh, then after the music college I just played music live so mm -hmm. I didn't teach mm -hmm. even if I started teaching when I was pretty young mm -hmm. around 19 mm -hmm. years old mm -hmm. at school and stuff mm -hmm. like that then I took a break and I was just touring with my mm -hmm. band Arcadia mm -hmm. and writing writing music all mm -hmm. the time you know and then when I moved to Norway a lot of things happened <laughs> There's a and, of you. Uh, <laughs> no, no choice. a lot of things happened <laughs> okay, and, I you know, and I had to uh, find a way to make um, to have a, a more steady mm -hmm. income, mm -hmm. and I became a, a full, almost full time mm -hmm. music teacher. Mm -hmm. And um, then my approach as a teacher is a bit different comparing to the approach as a student in a mm -hmm. music college because everything starts f from my music. Mm -hmm. So I would say that first, before to be a music teacher, I'm a composer. Mm -hmm. in general. I compose a lot of music, and then I learn the technique around mm -hmm. the compositions mm -hmm. and then I teach those things. Mm -hmm. So when I teach to, to a student it's important that uh, the, tu that the, the student understand that music comes first. Mm -hmm. And I believe that you're not uh, a complete musician if you cannot write some music. Mm -hmm. Because I think everybody can write music. Mm -hmm. It's just something that inside you you need mm -hmm. to get out. Mm -hmm. You know how it is because you also write mm -hmm. music, right? And uh, so I always um, uh, motivate my students in order to write mm -hmm. personal stuff, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in order to develop your personal stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't need to become the new England monster, you mm -hmm. need to become <laughs> the new yourself. If you yeah, know what yeah, I mean. And yeah. try always to challenge yourself and get the better, yeah, 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 better yeah. results. Yeah, the world needs a new song. A world needs a new song, a copy. Exactly, exactly. And uh, when I was back, back in the day when I was in Italy, everybody were trying to be the new Steve Vai, the new <laughs> England monster, you know. <laughs> And those guitar players, of course, in the are, beginning, are that's awesome. Okay. In the beginning, yeah, that's okay. Of course, okay. you need some influence. Mm -hmm. You need some guy mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But you need. But after you twenty years, so you practice a lot. You, you must find yourself. Exactly, and uh, and you need really to do what you feel like doing. You don't need to care about what's the reaction of the public. Mm -hmm. If the public don't like your music, it doesn't mean yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You just need to keep on doing that. Keep on doing that until you get uh, a really high level. Mm -hmm. of, uh, ideas and composition mm -hmm. because it's a long way uh, and never finish. Mm -hmm. that's a, that's always need to get inspired. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I know you play a lot of tapping in your music. Yeah. And uh, any tips for, for tapping? Well, uh, when I when I approached the music college at the, at the beginning, I didn't know how to play any uh -huh. tapping, so it, I was struggling a little bit. But I was, I had a really great teacher mm -hmm. at the music college who was really into Ed Van Halen, stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. and he explained to me how to do that. Yeah. And uh, I would say that of course there are some exercises that you can start mm -hmm. with. Uh, but uh, after, first thing you need to know, of course, the notes on the mm -hmm. guitar, mm -hmm. which makes everything easier. I have, I have uh, a according to you must learn. harmonization and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And there are. Different mechanical exercises mm. you can play. The easiest, of course, is like let's say that you, now I have the pin, so mm. it doesn't really fit. But let's say that you, yeah, this is the first time you play tapping. Mm. You focus on the 12th fret mm. with uh, this finger, for example. Some people yes. play with this. I play with, uh, with this. Okay. One, with okay. The one. okay. Then you can. It's up to you. Some people do like this, and they hold the pick with those uh -huh. two fingers uh -huh. and play. With, not me. Uh -huh. Like this is better. Like this for me, it's easier to switch from the tapping to the picking again. Mm -hmm. So let's say you focus on the, on the 12 uh, fret with tapping. So the moment has to be down and then you have to, to pull off, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. And then you can add some other notes. Like let's say you focus on the pentatonic, mm -hmm. A minor pentatonic, everybody can play that. Right? Okay. So in this 
case it goes 12, 8, 5. Mm -hmm. Spend a lot of time doing that. Mm -hmm. Then suddenly you slowly. You, yeah, really slow. Mm -hmm. That's important. To play fast, you need to play slow. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. And you can find different combinations. Let's say 12, 5, 8. You can develop also the technique of tapping up and down mm -hmm. according mm -hmm. to how it feels more comfortable. Mm -hmm. to you. And you can find a lot of different combinations. different fingers. Or play also the chords. Uh, uh. Sounds good. Yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> I always play a lot of tapping, uh -huh. you know, that's uh, my technique, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, in, when I was a kid, I played more sweep, I was sweeping as uh, insane, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, then I found out that tapping allowed me to get more fresher mm -hmm. ideas, you mm -hmm. know, especially on the A string, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, you have so many strings that sometimes you need to, to divide, mm -hmm. you know, the, the two movements. Mm -hmm. in the hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how, how, you, you practice a long time for tapping on another technique? It's, uh, I, I did a lot of improvisation mm -hmm. because uh, let's say for example you want to learn the tapping mm -hmm. and not just focus on the mechanical movements you just uh, put the uh, backing track mm -hmm. with some chords <laughs> okay. maybe one chord or just one bass yeah, and, try everything different. and try and try yeah. different combi combinations The most great. important thing, I think, is not just to focus on the way that we are usually used to, to play, which is uh, vertical, mm -hmm. but also try horizontal, mm -hmm. you know, with a lot of slides mm -hmm. and stuff like that, mm -hmm. makes everything more interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very funny. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's different. A, it's yeah. always a discovery. You, know? mm -hmm. you find out a lot of different stuff. You just need to, to just uh, shut everything down. Don't check Facebook and stuff like that. Just focus <laughs> on your guitar you know? and try to enjoy that. Okay, okay. That's the that's the most important thing. The process that mm -hmm. you use. Mm -hmm. You know. And um, okay. And the website thanks for taking this time. Yeah. Take the it was my big pleasure. Uh -huh. This those two weeks in China has been amazing. Uh -huh. uh, challenging sometimes, but really nice people around. Mm -hmm. So I'm really satisfied, and I look forward to come back. Uh -huh. And uh, look forward to see you again. Yeah, see China. you soon. Okay, or see you maybe soon. somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, take, give me. Yeah. <laughs> see you next time. See you next time. Thank you very much.